friends, it's Miss Jamie. I'm so happy to see you today for another virtual preschool lesson all about pumpkins. Let's start by singing Bicycle with Miss Nancy. Here she is. This is Bicycle from the Seasons. Make sure you're lying down on the ground for this one with your feet in the air, or you can use your hands to go around and around. I'm riding on my bicycle. I'm riding on my bicycle. I'm riding on my bicycle all around the town. I'm riding on my bicycle. I'm riding on my bicycle. Riding on my bicycle all around the town. My bike goes up and down, up and down, up and down, and up and down. I'm riding on my bicycle, I'm riding on my bicycle, I'm riding on my bicycle all around the town. My bike goes fast and my bike goes slow. again. Fast! And my bike goes slow. I'm riding on my bicycle. I'm riding on my bicycle. Riding on my bicycle all around the town. My bike goes twist and turn. Twist and turn. Twist and turn and twist and turn. I'm riding on my bicycle. I'm riding on my bicycle. Riding on my bicycle all around the town. My bike goes in and out. In and out. In and out. And in and out. I'm riding on my bicycle. has a bell and it goes ding a ling a ling a ling a ling my bell goes ding a ling a ling a ling a ling my bell goes ding a ling a ling a ling a ling my bell goes ding a ling a ling a ling a ling i am riding up my bicycle i'm riding on my bicycle riding on my bicycle Oh, thank you, Miss Nancy. That was fun. Let's call Betsy. Ready? One, two, three. Betsy, where are you? I think she's back there. She wants to come out and say hello to you. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. How are you? Hello, Betsy. How are you? Hello, Miss Jamie. How are you? We're so glad to see you here, here. We're all here, here, here. We're all here, here, here. We're all here, we're all here together. Yay! It's going to be another day all about pumpkins. Do you have a pumpkin at your house? Do you? Today we're going to talk about all of the different colors and types of pumpkins. This is the one that we looked at the other day. It's orange and round and pretty smooth. Do you see? It doesn't have any bumps on it. It has some lines, but no bumps. And when we look on the inside, we see orange pulp and orange seeds. But not all pumpkins look like this. Here are some other kinds of pumpkins. This kind of a pumpkin 
And this, these are called gourds. Can you say gourds? Yes, and gourds are like pumpkins. They come in lots of different colors and shapes and sizes, and they have different textures. Do you know what a texture is? Texture is how it feels on your fingers. Do you see how these have bumps on them? These are a little bit bumpy. They're not smooth like this orange pumpkin. Here's one that's a, a gourd that's really smooth. It almost looks like a grapefruit, except it's hard, not squishy. And here's a gourd that has lots and lots of bumpies on it, bumpy texture on it. Do you see those bumps all over the gourd? Gourds come in lots of different shapes too. This one almost looks like a maraca, like you could make a shaker out of it. Do you see that? Ooh, it has a green part on the bottom. Gourds come in different colors and shapes and sizes. And I also found something really interesting at the pumpkin patch this week. Look at this pumpkin. It's not orange at all. The stem fell off of it, but it grew on a vine just like the orange pumpkin. What color is this? It's like a very light yellow, isn't it? They said on the sign at the pumpkin patch it was a white pumpkin. It's not exactly white, but it got me to thinking. That's what scientists do. They're always thinking of questions. When they see something interesting, they have a question in their brain that says, I wonder if a white pumpkin, this is my question, is it orange on the inside or is it white? And if I use a white pumpkin, would my pumpkin pie be white or would it be orange? Hmm, this is an interesting question. That's what scientists do. They think of questions and then they think, how can I find the answer to my question? So my question is, what color is a white pumpkin on the inside? Is it orange or is it white? How can I find the answer to this question? Maybe we could cut a hole in the pumpkin and look. Before we open it up, can you make a prediction? Do you think the inside of this pumpkin is orange or white? What do you think? Would it make a white pie? Let's look and see. Is it orange or white? Ready? It's white or really light yellow. It's not orange like my other pumpkin. I wonder if I scoop this pumpkin out and turn it into a pie, if it will be a white pie. Isn't that an interesting question? I might have to do some more research later and make a pumpkin pie out of this white pumpkin. That got me to thinking about other things that are orange or not orange, like my two pumpkins. So we're going to do a sort. I'm gonna show you a picture of something and you have to decide if it looks like it's orange this is the sign for orange or no, not orange. Orange or not orange. Will you help me sort some pictures? Okay, I have a lot of pictures. Let's see if we can pick out a few here. What about this pumpkin? Is this pumpkin orange or no? It's orange. I gave you an easy one to start. Look at this tea kettle. Is this tea kettle orange or no? Do the sign. Yes, it's orange. Those were easy. How about this one? Grapes. Are these grapes orange or no? No. What color are they? Purple. Yes, you were right. Let's look at carrots. Are the carrots orange or no? Yes, they have some green leaves and they're in a silver bucket, but the carrots are orange. Yes, you're good at sorting by color. Let's look at this one. This is a 
tomato. Is the tomato orange or no? No, it's red. Yes, the tomato is not orange. Here's another one. Oh, I've got a cute one here for you. How about the cat? Is the cat orange or no? Yes, the, this cat is orange. Well done. This is not a cat. It's a skunk. <laughs> is the skunk orange or no? Orange? No, it's not orange. It's black and white. All right, we'll do two more. This is a car. Beep, beep. Is the car orange or no? It's orange. Yes, this car is orange. And the last one is a duck. Is the duck orange or no? No, it's yellow. It's yellow. Good. We sorted things into two groups. Orange, make the sign for orange, or no, not orange. Good. One of my very favorite songs about a pumpkin is about a big round pumpkin like this one. And it's sitting at the top of a hill. And all of a sudden, it starts rolling down the hill until it bumps into a rock. Would you like to sing that song with me? Make your hands go around and around like a roly-poly pumpkin. And the song goes like this. Oh, the roly-poly pumpkin rolled down the hill. It's like a bicycle, isn't it? Once it started rolling, it couldn't keep still. It rolled and rolled and rolled until it bumped into a rock. Then that roly-poly pumpkin came to a stop. <laughs> Would you like to try it with me? Okay, get your hands ready to do the roly-poly pumpkin. Here it goes. The roly-poly pumpkin rolled down a hill. Once it started rolling, it couldn't keep still. Make it go faster. It rolled and rolled and rolled until it bumped into a rock. Then that roly-poly pumpkin came to a stop. <laughs> Good singing. Well done. Over here today, I have a fun game for us today. It is some, these are some pumpkin buckets. You might put candy in these pumpkin buckets. And we're going to hide a little scaredy cat behind the pumpkin buckets. Will you play the game with me? Let's count the pumpkin buckets. The red one is number one. The orange one is number two. Yellow is number three. Good. Green is number four. Blue is number five. <laughs> Here's my favorite one. Purple is number six. See all those? Pink is number seven. And gray is number eight. And this little scaredy cat is wearing a hat. Scaredy cat, scaredy cat, hiding from me. He's in a pail. Which one could it be? I'm going to put the scaredy cat in one of these pails, and you have to try to find him. But no peeking. You can look over here at the orange things and the not orange things. How does that sound? The cat is hiding. Scaredy cat, scaredy cat, hiding from me. Pick a pail, which one could it be? Which pail would you like to try first? You can either say the color or the number. Which one do you want to try first? Purple number six 
That's my favorite one. Let's look to see if the cat is there. Nope, he wasn't behind purple number six. That was a good guess. Hmm, where should we look next? What do you think? Red number one. Okay, let's look and see. Nope, the cat was not behind red number one. But I like your thinking. Hmm, where could he be? Which one would you like to try next? Blue? The blue one is number five. Do you want to try blue? Let's look and see. <gasps> you found him! The scaredy cat was hiding behind blue number five. Well done. We have time to play again. Would you like to hide him and try to find the cat again? Okay, look over here at the orange things and the not orange things and all of those bumpy gourds. Should I make it a hard one or an easy one? Where should I hide that scaredy cat? I should actually hide him so you can't see though, right? <laughs> scaredy cat, scaredy cat hiding from me. He's in a pail. Which one could it be? What's your guess? Oh, lots of friends are shouting out the colors. I hear some friends saying orange. Orange is number two. Let's look and see. Uh, not this time. He wasn't in orange number two. What's your next guess? Green? Green number four? Okay, we can look at green number four. Let's see. Nope, not this time. Keep guessing. Don't give up. Where could the scaredy cat be hiding? Number one, the red one up here. Let's look and see. No, he's not behind red number one. But that's another good guess. Hmm, we've checked those three and he wasn't there. Let's pick a different one. Maybe one from the bottom. Okay, which one do you want from the bottom row? The pink one, <laughs> number seven. Okay, let's look and see. <gasps> nope, he wasn't hiding behind the pink one. This one is taking us a little bit longer. We have to keep working at it. Where's the scaredy cat? What's your guess? Blue five, that's where he was last time, isn't it? Let's look and see. No, he wasn't behind blue this time. Hmm. He must be hiding behind yellow number three, purple number six, or gray number eight. Which one would you like to check next? That's my favorite one, purple number six. Okay, we can look. Oh, no. Ah, oh, he wasn't behind purple number six. I thought for sure. So it's either yellow number three or gray number eight. Hmm. If you want yellow number three, say yellow. If you want gray number eight, say gray. Oh, lots of kids said yellow. Oh, lots and lots of kids said gray. Okay, let's check gray. You did it. You found the scaredy cat. He was hiding behind gray number eight. Wow, I'm so proud of you. And I'm so excited about the book that I have picked out to read to you today. It's one of my favorite pumpkin books in the whole wide world. It's about a little pumpkin who doesn't quite fit in. He doesn't look the same as the other pumpkins and he starts to worry that maybe he's not good enough because he's a little bit different until something terrible happens and he is able to solve the problem. This is the legend of Spookly, the square pumpkin. He probably wouldn't roll down the hill like the roly-poly pumpkin. This book is written by Joe Troiano, and the illustrations are by Susan Banta. Spookly the Square 
pumpkin. There's the title page. The Legend of Spookly the Square Pumpkin. Do you see Spookly there? One day in the pumpkin patch, the strangest little pumpkin hatched. Spookly wasn't like his friends. Where they had curves, he had ends. Spookly was different. He was odd. He was rare. Spookly the pumpkin wasn't round. He was square. While the round pumpkins had fun rolling along, poor Spookly sat there shaped all wrong. He tried and tried with all his might, but he couldn't budge. He just sat tight. The other pumpkins teased him because he was square. Spookly wished he was round and could roll everywhere. That is, until one night when they all discovered it's fine to be round when the weather is fair, but there are times it's better to be square. Look what's there, a scarecrow. Shh, don't tell Betsy. Halloween was just a day away when a mighty storm blew across the bay. It tossed the round pumpkins to and fro. It snapped their vines, then off they'd go. Bouncing left, slamming right, banging, bashing, what? a sight. Spookly sat there filled with fright, but glad to be a square that night. Look at all the round pumpkins are getting bumped around, but not Spookly. He's just sitting there. Suddenly, the fence gave way. Three pumpkins rolled out into the bay. Spookly knew what must be done. It was up to him. He was the one. He teetered, he tottered, he tipped, he tried. He finally flipped. He was on his side. Again he tipped, again he flipped, again he flopped, and then he stopped right in the gap where the fence had snapped. He blocked the way. The hole was capped. All the pumpkins shouted, Hooray! Spookly the square pumpkin has saved the day. Then a pumpkin hit him with a whack. He thought his shell would start to crack. Then another one hit him with a thump and another one with a smack. Then one by one, a ton of pumpkins piled on the stack with a bang and a bash and a crunch and a crash. And then it all went black. What a big pile of pumpkins. Do you see Spookly piled underneath there? I hope he doesn't get smushed. At dawn, when the storm had stopped, the farmer came out and checked his crop. He picked his pumpkins up one by one and laid them out in the warm, dry sun. And when the last was moved away, the farmer could see what had saved the day. An odd-shaped pumpkin, short and dense, was wedged against the broken fence. Its shell was bruised, its stem was too, but there was brave little Spookly sitting straight and strong and true. Right then and there, the farmer knew of all the seeds he'd ever sown, Spookly's were the most special that had ever grown. 
And the next year when it was time to sow, he sowed those seeds in every row. He watered and weeded and watched them grow. And oh, that morning about mid-June, when the pumpkin patch began to bloom, there were tiny pumpkins everywhere, hundreds and hundreds, most of them square, but, see the word, but, some were cubes and some rectangular, some were flat and some triangular. There was a bed of bright red ones and two rows of blue. There were polka dot pumpkins and rainbow ones too. There were thousands of colors and hundreds of shapes. Oh, what a garden variety makes. All those different pumpkins. Now every year on Halloween, Spookly's Patch is quite a scene. People come from far and near to see what wonders grew that year. They stop, they gawk, they gaze, they stare. Then they pick a pumpkin that's round, triangular, or perfectly square. Now you know the story of how Spookly grew. Maybe someday you'll tell somebody too. And they'll go tell someone who will go tell another. And maybe one day we will all discover you can't judge a book or a pumpkin by its cover. Spookly was a helpful pumpkin in the patch, wasn't he? Isn't that a cute book about how pumpkins can come in all different shapes and sizes? and colors, <laughs> just like the ones we saw. I have a fun art slash science project for you today since we're talking about pumpkin science. In this one, you get to mix some colors to make a pumpkin picture. This is an easy project and I'm gonna tell you a couple of different ways that you can do it if you have the materials that I have or if you have different materials. So for this one, I'm using a paper towel instead of a piece of paper. You can use a piece of paper or a paper towel. It's really up to you. And I'm going to make some watercolors. So I filled this little cup with some water. I have two of them. And I'm gonna mix some food coloring into my water. I'm gonna make one of the bowls red and one of the bowls yellow. And then mix up my colors a little bit. I'm going to use an eyedropper to do this science experiment. But if you don't have a dropper like this, you can use a straw. You just hold the top of the straw and we're going to drip all the colors onto this paper towel. So this paper towel, I just drew the outline of a pumpkin shape and we're gonna fill it all up with color. So I'm gonna put some red on my pumpkin and some yellow. What happens when, oh, it's hard to see. What happens when the red and the yellow mix together? Can you tell? What's gonna happen on my paper towel when the red and the yellow mix together? What color do you think it will make? Maybe, yes, it's hard to see, isn't it? Oh, here's another option. You could put those same colors into a little spray bottle, like a little squirt bottle. Maybe you have an empty water bottle and you could fill it with some colorful water in red and yellow. And I could woo, spray my pumpkin shape like that. That one's red. And then I also have some yellow in a bottle. Let's see if it works. What happens if I mix red, that was a lot of red, and yellow. Can you see what color it's changing into? Yes, it's changing into orange. So we're gonna be scientists who mix and discover new colors with red and yellow. Will you show me if you decide to make a pumpkin picture with red and yellow colored water? I would love to see what you discover. 
Well, friends, it goes so quickly, doesn't it? It's already time for us to sing goodbye. Will you help me call Betsy to come back? One, two, three, say, Betsy, come back. Come on, Betsy. Hello, friends. Oh, I love red. That's the inside of my mouth. And yellow, that's the top of my mouth. And when you put them together, it makes orange. <laughs> You're right, Betsy. <laughs> you don't have any orange, though. Just a pink tongue. <laughs> Betsy, I had fun learning about different pumpkins today. Did you, friends? Me too. Let's sing a nice goodbye song. Preschool time is over now. Over now. Over now. Preschool time is over now for another day. Wave goodbye to all of our friends, all of our friends, all of our friends. Wave goodbye to all of our friends. It's time to stay home and play. Hip, hip, hooray! Do you have any bird seed in your pocket? Reach down and get it for Betsy, please. And I'll show you what your play pack looks like today. There are six different play ideas for you to do with your family after the video is over. These will help your brain keep learning and growing. Bird seed, please. Okay, throw it this way. <gasps> Thank you for the bird seed. And here's your kiss. Hold out your hand like this. Catch it. Stick it to your cheek. Give yourself a big hug from Miss Jamie and Betsy. We love learning with you today. We can't wait to see you again next time. Bye-bye, friends.